Hi, I'm Julian Trotman with Cohort 15, and today we're going to be talking about setting up your development environment for Unreal Script. This will be the first in a series of tutorials about Unreal Scripting. Before beginning, let's make sure you have the latest version of nFringe installed. We don't want the release version. In this case, we want the latest preview version. That's nFringe spelled N-F-R-I-N-G-E. We also want Microsoft Visual Studios 2010, the latest Microsoft.NET, and of course, UDK. Okay, the first thing we need to do is open up Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 and activate Register in Fringe. This will give us several useful tools in the future while we're programming, like IntelliSense and keyword highlighting for Unreal Script. To do this, let's open up Visual Studio 2010, come to Help, scroll down to Infringe License Manager, and open it up. This will give us a window like this right here, and we can click Add. I'm using Infringe for non-commercial project. Let's type in a studio name and a project name. Then you need to type in an active email address so that you can activate Infringe through your email. With all that done, click Activate and wait for the email. Okay, we're going to assume that you have that done and move on. Let's create a new project for writing Unreal Script. Let's go to File, New, Project. Here, with Infringe installed, we'll have a couple of new things. Installed Templates, Unreal Script, Unreal Engine 3 Licensee Project. Let's select that and give it a new name. In our case, let's call it Unreal Tutorial Project. Now let's make sure we save it to the right location. Let's open up Browse and go to UDK, UDK, Development, and Source. Select your source folder. OK, with that all done, let's click OK. Now there are a couple of in-house maintenance issues we need to do before we even get to programming. Let's right click in our Solution Explorer on our project and go down to Properties, and bring up our Properties window. The first thing we're going to want to do in general is open up Target Game and click on Unreal Engine 3 Licensee, which it will default to, and select Unreal Engine 3 Mod. With that selected, it'll give us a couple of different options here. So let's start with the UCC path. Let's select this, and here we want to open up our UDK EXE. So let's go to UDK, UDK, down to Binaries, Windows 32, and scroll down until we find the UDK EXE. Let's open that up. Now we want our reference source path. This needs to go to our source folder. We want to open up UDK again, UDK, Development, and select Source. OK, we're done with this page. Let's move on to Build Events. In Build Events, there's nothing we need to do, so let's move on to Build. In Build, the first thing we need to do is go up to Configuration and go down to All Configurations. With All Configurations selected, we also want to include Unpublished Scripts in Build. OK, let's make, go down to Debug and all configurations is still selected for us. Now here we want to start off with start game executable. Here we also want to put in the exe. So let's go back to UDK, UDK, binaries, win32, and scroll down until we get the UDK exe. Let's select that. We're going to do a couple of things right here in a little bit, but for now let's leave that blank. We do want, however, want to click disable startup movies and enable unpublished mods force window mode, and let's open up a log as well. Now to get that to be useful, we also want to hit minus log and type that in in additional options. With all that done, we should be good to go. Let's go and create a new script now. Let's select file, new project, or excuse me, new file, and let's open up a generic text file. So. Let's do a couple of things. The first in, let's type in class, and we're going to call this deathmatch underscore super regen extends ut deathmatch, semicolon. OK, so let's save this text file. Let's go to File, Save Text File As, and now we need to make sure that we scroll into the right folder. <coughs> uh, 
let's go to UDK, UDK, development, and source. Scroll down, and we'll have Unreal Tutorial Project. Let's open that up. And what we're going to need to do is create a new folder in this. Let's go to New Folder, and we're going to call this Classes. Let's open that up. And now, we need to change the file name to the same as the class name in this script. Let's say deathmatch underscore super regen dot uc. This is going to change it into an Unreal script. Let's hit save. Okay. Now we're going to do a couple of things, but the first thing we need to do is open up the INI file and change it so that Unreal will recognize uh, this new folder as a folder that it needs to compile. So let's open up UDK again. We want to scroll down to UDK game, config, and scroll down to UDK engine. Let's open up that INI file. All right. Now let's control F to do a quick find and type in Unreal ED. After a couple of clicks, we'll come to Unreal ED dot editor engine. Let's scroll to the bottom of that and we need to add this new line in here. Mod edit packages equals the name of our new project file. In our case, Unreal Tutorial Script. Excuse me, Unreal Tutorial Project. So let's type that in. Once you've typed that in, save out the INI file and close it out again. Let's save out our whole project, close it out, and open it up again. Okay, let's go to File, New, excuse me, File Open, Project and Solution, and we can scroll in and open up our thing through UDK Games. UDK, Development, Source, let's scroll down to Unreal Tutorial Project, and let's open up Unreal Tutorial Project. Now that we've extended it and reopened it, it'll parse a number of different files because we know that it's now compiling it. Let's wait for this to finish. With that done, we can open up our reference source and see that we have all of the subfolders we need for UDK. <clears throat> In our case, let's start off by writing a single line of code here. Now that we've returned, we can see that the words Deathmatch Super Region and UT Deathmatch have been highlighted as relevant classes. Let's type in function just to see that it highlights. We can type in default properties. return open bracket close bracket with that you're ready to go and set up an unreal script and in the next tutorial we'll continue with a very brief unreal script that will allow our character to regenerate health while in the game and through that we'll compile it and get it up and running okay thank you very much i hope you guys have a great day